Hi guys, and welcome back. Welcome to my little tower. Let's get in and have a look. I want to say thank you to the guys on the hazmat server for giving me a few ideas on some other little bases. What we've got is an 11 by 11 pit. We went down five blocks. We have got two blocks of steel as the floor. And as you can see, we have got a 3x3 three three tower that is filled. There's no gap in the middle. Got some blade traps at the bottom to help us out. Obviously, we've got a generator here, but that is around six blocks up. So let's just shut that. We've got concrete blocks on the outside. Now, the thinking behind this is, because this block is closer to me than the tower, when they reach the bottom there they'll attack these before attacking me now i have left these as concrete blocks to make it more alluring to the zombies just trying to get into the zombies head so let's see what happens let's fast forward to horde night day 84 32 times zombies let's see what happens i'll see you there Right, let's see what happens guys, I've got my Desert Vulture, I've got a Tactical Assault Rifle, 40 Molotovs, a bit of water just in case we set ourselves on fire, which is the norm, a couple of first aid kits and a bit of gumbo stew, what we'll do, we'll eat this gumbo stew just before we get started as well, just to give us a little bit of extra stamina for when we're zooming in, so let's see what happens, hopefully... The zombies will go for these concrete blocks before falling in and trying to attack the tower. But we'll have to see what happens. Where they're coming in from. They're coming in from here. Let's leave a few to their own devices. I have put a couple of mines on the outside. Nothing over the top. We've got a couple of demolishers coming in. And they are doing what they are supposed to be doing. Which is attacking them blocks. See if we can kill him before he explodes. No! But that's all good. Because let's see if they go on and start attacking other blocks. On the outside before coming in. We'll try to keep our eye on the cops. And we'll see what happens. Oh, we got a spider down there. Let's just kill him. Got a few irradiated. Oh, hang on. Oh, you hear a demolisher? Here he is. He's, he's fell down. Let's, let's see if we can get him. That is sweet as. But, like I say, those blade traps will not last long at all. Looks like I'm not going to go overly mad with killing them. Let's just see what they do. What I'm hoping as well is when they've finished with them concrete blocks, whether they will attack the wall instead of attacking the tower. Perfect. Like I say, I am not the best with Molotovs at all, but this is working out a treat. Let's see if we can get that cop before he spits at us. And what we will do, let's kill a few of these to see if we can spawn in a few demolishers. Oh, 
Where are they going now? They're still sticking in that corner? Any room this side? Not really. Hang on, we got a cop. We'll need to repair the tactical rifle. Let's get that repaired now. That is working an absolute treat. They are starting to have a little dig at the tower. And there's let's, let's just wait and see what see what they do. Let's get this cop because he's annoying. with this guys are oh, they working I'm still having a little little work over here we'll leave them to it for a bit let's see how much damage they can do is the whole way the demolisher blew up obviously the blade traps are all mangled but we survived the night with not even killing that many zombies they did attack the walls have i got my nail gun with me here i have let's let's have a quick look at the damage obviously they've gone through that block they have took off the top layer of all those little bit of damage to our tower but I was expecting a lot more to be honest that is not bad looks like that did seem to work what they was doing was what I hoped they would do, which is attack these blocks on the outside before even coming into the middle. So that's like a little bit of a distraction for the zombies. So you can pop their heads before... Well, it gives you a lot more time. Like I say, you could even switch out these blade traps for normal spikes down there. Or even you could, if you wanted to, get some electric fences down there make the outside walls a lot tighter well you only have to go you probably have to go two blocks in all the way around and have some electric fences but i don't know that seemed to have worked really really well the only damage up top would be where they were spitting let's see tiny bit of damage not that bad to be honest yep i'm impressed with that what do you guys think have you built something very similar to this or even improved on it like i said this was just something that uh, i've seen on the hazmat server on the multiplayer and i thought i'd have my own little take on it so guys thanks for tuning in again and as always please stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everybody